Hey guys, it's Phil Cards here live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to do a review of an old school box, real old school box. This one is from 1995-1996. It is the 1996 Top Skills, uh, Super Skills uh, competition card. It's a hobby box. Uh, you will not find a YouTube video break of these, I think, on YouTube because it's so old school and so specific. Uh, it's a box that focuses on the fastest skater, hardest shot, puck control relay, breakaway relay, accuracy shooting. It focuses on the All-Star game. We can see the All-Star emblem right there. Boom. Uh, and you also see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says new features gold and platinum guild edge technology. So this is the latest technology as of 1995, 1996, some 22, 23 years ago. Uh, so, you know, do I recommend this product? Well, I'll go through it a bit. Uh, a box of this now probably goes for about 25, 30 bucks, maybe even less. At the time, it probably was pretty sort of high-end, maybe $80 boxes. I think they're sold mostly as individual packs because the packs are very repetitive and there's only a limited uh, checklist. In fact, the checklist only runs, I think, some 90 players. Uh, the benefit of a box of this back in the day was that there are 20 packs in the box and there are 11 cards per pack, so there's a lot of, uh, lot of packs. And the cards are actually kind of thick and, and did have this latest technology of the era, uh, if you can believe that. The other thing about 1995, 1996 is it was Saku rookie year. Uh, so there's actually a rookie class that's half decent. And the rookie cards within these, this particular product uh, tend to be these sort of silver foil uh, metallic looking cards, which is nice. Uh, the box itself is very busy, the cards themselves are very busy, but that's sort of how the era was. Uh, and the notion that they focus on the fastest skaters, etc., etc., it's a little bit like the game used product of today, uh, obviously before memorabilia cards. So the entire rookie class runs Jeff O'Neill, it runs Ed Jovanovsky, uh, Corey Stillman, Chad Kilger, Aki Berg, Todd Bertuzzi. Shane, it was Shane Doan's rookie year. Uh, it was Kyle McLaren's rookie year and Erratic Devarak, but it was Saku Koivu and Daniel Alfredson and Nicholas Sudstrom. Those would be the ones that we would be looking for. Uh, so I opened up a bunch of packs. Uh, as I said, the packs are repetitive, so I didn't open the entire box because I'm going to give some of the stuff away uh, as gifts, I think, because they're so old school and, uh, you know, campy, sort of the kind of thing you'd sort of give a friend uh, to go down memory lane with. Uh, so look at the box itself. Uh, the hobby box, a typical looking hobby box in a sense from, from the day two and two. Uh, the color is about, it's sort of a gray, teal, uh, greenish, uh, metallic look to them. Uh, nice, nice looking packs of cards to be honest with you. I, I think they look pretty good. They're actually very thick, which is interesting too. So let me show you what we get in a particular pack, for example. So they focus on the various skills. So for, first and foremost, the first pack I got was uh, this bad boy here and it focuses on the breakaway relay rapid fire in other words on the goaltenders and you see these sort of 3d animated pucks and we have this old school card of trevor kidd there's andy moke who played with the habs there's mike vernon felix the cat podvin we got billy ranford who of course was uh, the goaltender of the Edmonton Oilers when they won in 1990 post Gretzky, Grant Fuhr who was Gretzky's goaltender during his best years, Kelly Rudy who was his goaltender when they lost the cup to the Montreal Canadiens, there's Eddie the Eagle, uh, Kirk McLean, Kirk McLean, and Trevor Kidd. So we see that there are there is repetition uh, in these cards and if you look, let's look at the Felix the Cat you see the back as you see the back of the card and see how ugly it is I mean there's a lot going on it sort of looks like a really bad dated website uh, but nonetheless um, they're they're funky they're very funky looking cards they're, they definitely have some funk to them some playfulness to them so that would be that one so I'll go through some of the other ones uh, for example we had uh, shooting accuracy um, and for shooting accuracy, we think there's Ray Bork, but I don't think he was included in this batch. Maybe he wasn't included in the skills competition for this particular year. Uh, but there's Jason Arnett, Phil Housley, Jeremy Roenick, Rick Tockett, there's Bernie Nichols. So a little bit of repetition, Zamnov, uh, Friesen, and there's Todd Harvey. Again, the backs of the cards are similar, if not exactly the same as the other ones. Go through a couple more packs showing the rest of the skills. Uh, for example, let's see here, we have the uh, Hardy Shot. So Hardy Shot, you would expect to see Brett Hull, and here he is, Brett Hull with his uh, St. Louis Blues, his sort of initial uh, big 
you know, beginning of his career where he put up his big numbers and so on. Uh, most recognized with them, I guess. There's Mike McDano, there's Chris Chelios, there's Kachuk. We also have Al McInnes, uh, who is another one who we would assume to get for the hardest shot. I think back in the day, we'd also think about uh, who else we, would we get. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I can't read that. Oh, Chris Pronger, of course. And I was thinking about Aya Frady, who's another one back in the day who, who had the best slap shot. So that's what those look like. Uh, everyone focused on different skills. Very sort of funky looking cards. Very, very funky. Uh, so these, for example, would be the puck control. I think I have two packs here worth of cards. So in each pack I said there's 11 cards, so it would be 22 if I have two packs worth of cards. So you see, so the packs are repetitive. Um, they're repetitive within the cards, and then individual packs, again, have this focus on the same skills with the same players. That's the drawback of, there's Dougie Gilmore, which is, I mean, which is a really nice card. Sort of the triple uh, Gilmore look as he's coming right through your window pane. Uh, I really like the look of this particular card. Um, but but there's, there's the great one, and uh, there's Paul Correa, and you see all the repetition. We have Burnaby Joe. Uh, he's called Burnaby Joe because he came from, um, I guess he came from BC, right? Burnaby BC, is that right? Uh, so, so there you go. I mean, this is what they look like. Uh, I'll go through what, what one last one of, I did accuracy. Here's another one that I didn't necessarily do, and it's the fastest skater competition. And these are even crazier because they're like super yellow. Um, so here you have, who do we have? We have Pavel Bure, we have Matt Sundin. Um, we would also have Jeff Cortnell in here somewhere in one of the, one of the, uh, I don't know, I have, I have a, another batch with them somewhere, but you would get Jeff Cortnell, I believe, who was one of the fastest skaters of his era. He was known for specifically that. He was, he played, he was a winger, wasn't he? Or center winger? I don't know. He played on the Montreal Canadiens and, uh, also, I think he played also on Vancouver like his brother did and Cortnell also played on Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, so that's basically it with regard to the look and feel of the cards. Uh, one thing I did not mention, which is probably one of the most important things, which is the selling point for these cards. Uh, so they mentioned the feature, it features a gold and platinum guild edge technology. Well, this is the gold technology. Look at that. So they actually gold rim cards and the top emblem itself is a gold rim tinge to it. So that's, so if you, if you cake together a whole smattering of cards, you see that it's almost like a golded uh, um, rimmed plate or something to that effect. So that's kind of cool. So that's what they're flossing about it. And they're probably flossing sort of all the design as technology uh, back in the day. But they're interesting. They're very substantial cards. They're actually sort of somewhat thick. Um, they're like plasticized cards. Not, not bad, I'd say. Um, but the one thing I'd recommend is to not buy... Um, or you can buy an entire hobby box, but I think the cards are so repetitive that if you're to buy, you almost should give packs away to people uh, as a gift. Uh, and I think at, at, during the time, you know, back in the day, they probably sold them as individual packs. And people who bought entire boxes probably, with not knowing the checklist being only 90 players, probably felt that the box would be redundant. Finally, I'll get to some of the rookies. As I said, I only opened up about half the box, but I did get... Uh, the key rookies as far as I could tell. So this is what the rookies look like. Uh, metallic, uh, not necessarily rainbow per se, but it's completely foiled out. A uh, very silvery looking card. Uh, and the back is wild. Um, so you see it's his rookie year. So in the back they do have previous years, but it's from the OHL. So this would be his rookie year, Bond Senior. But we got other important key rookies. Uh, well, we got Kyle McLaren. We, we did get Nicholas Sudstrom, um, we did get Corey Stillman, we did get Radic Dvorak, Chad Kilger, and you know the cards, one thing I didn't mention is the cards actually, some of the cards were so glued together that when I separated them they lost a little bit of the foil. Uh, fortunately for me it was Chad Kilger, no offense Chad Kilger, but I, I just would not want to uh, destroy my Saku Koivu. Uh, Jeff O'Neill, Antti Torminen. There's Daniel Alfredson. There's our man, Daniel Alfredson. Uh, and here we go, Saku Koivu's rookie card uh, in this cool metallic. Now, I mean, these cards are probably, you know, they're so repetitive within the boxes that I'm sure they don't go for much, but it actually is a really nice rookie card with that skate. 
you can make out that skate uh, to, uh, to uh, on the left there. Uh, so and then they're called Super Rookies, which is sort of a nice uh, little uh, title for them. And again, the back, and it has his finish record prior to the NHL. But this is, you know, these are really, really half decent cards. Uh, yeah, so the other rookies, are, uh, Todd Bertuzzi, et cetera, et cetera, would be elsewhere within the box. I think you're guaranteed to get all the rookies based on the amount of cards within the box. Uh, I just happened to not open all of the entire box to, in order to do my 10-minute review. Uh, so so that's, what, uh, that's what the scoop is on these 1995-1996 uh, Super Skills competition from Tops. Uh, I would happen to be a guy called uh, Fulton Cards, Lavender Eye from Brooklyn, New York.